Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here. It is uh, Sunday the 3rd of March. Thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Uh, don't forget the site to get free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here. It's by you coming back and using the site and using the adverts. That's what keeps us free of charge. So thank you for doing that. Now, uh, it's a weather school day today, so uh, it's a busy day. We've got Aviation Weather School Part 2 today, so lots of pilots on their way from all over the country. Um, so uh, we'll keep this relatively brief, but um, main story really is uh, a bite back of winter. Uh, looks like coming in after the 9th of March. Been talking about this for the last couple of days. Um, here's the 9th look, and uh, notice what happens to temperatures. This is from the uh, GFS Ensemble here. And just notice what happens to temperatures after the 9th. They take this big plunge down before slowly rising again as we get uh, towards the last third of the month which of course is what I've been predicting so we're fingers crossed that continues but this period in here um, sort of from the 10th through to about the 17th looks really cold becoming more unsettled this week as well this is the 6th here so this is uh, Tuesday and you can see here how rainfall totals increase as well from Tuesday onwards you can see these charts come down the left hand side of the page here GFS Ensemble click on the UK cities and uh, the charts are there <coughs> now it's not only the uh, GFS Ensemble that sees a fall in temperature the ECMWF sees it too uh, this is the 850 temperature but it gives us a good idea as to what temperatures are doing lower down you see these steady well they're falling off a little bit generally steady but then shumf, down they come look this is the ninth here and it's kind of after that they're a day later with their fall off in temperatures minus 13 at 850 is exceedingly cold for uh, for the middle part of March that would be absolutely bitter uh, if that did come off and um, looking on the ECMWF charts here going forward in 24 hour steps this is uh, midnight last night and then as we go through this is Monday Tuesday Wednesday here's the trough out towards the west Thursday Friday you notice that the low is trying to pump its way northwards but it can't do it because it's come against this cold feed that's coming in from the poles so what happens is it just eventually gets squeezed away uh, towards the east and there it goes look by the beginning of the week after next goes eastwards we bring in this easterly flow and we get really cold conditions forming incidentally another ridge building there in the Atlantic getting ready to block things off once again there but that's a really cold flow that comes in I think the ECMWF has overdone it a little bit I don't think it's going to be as drastically cold as that suggests I much prefer uh, this idea from the GFS Ensemble sort of bringing us down to daytime temperatures of fives in the south, probably near twos or threes towards the north. Now, um, the um, seven to ten day mean of the 500 millibar flows are looking like this ECMWF on the left here, GFS on the right, and they're both very similar actually in that we've got this block continuing here up towards the northwest of the UK and uh, a trough there in the Atlantic uh, just there and there. So we continue to have this cold plunge coming down look into Europe which maintains the trough here builds the high up towards the north and that's what results in the colder easterly flow. So you see once the flow gets back into a westerly which is going to do this week in the southwesterly and temperatures pick up again it just gets pounded away because of this blocking up towards the north and really for any change in, in the overall weather pattern that's what we need to be looking for for this blocking to be disappearing. Uh, so certainly uh, lots and lots going on during the uh, during the course of the week ahead so this is how the ensemble sees it day to day then um, this is uh, midday on the fourth so midday tomorrow you can see rigid high pressure through us as we go through Tuesday and into Wednesday there's the rain coming northwards through the country look on Wednesday got quite a mild south to southeasterly flow though could get 12 13 perhaps even 14 degrees from that then into the middle part to the end part of next week low pressure takes control we get some outbreaks of rain coming through for most and then the low eventually slips way off towards the east so we are going to go more and settle there is going to be some rain around but then we turn cooler uh, from next weekend onwards and then go cold as that easterly sets in but the ensemble always wants to try and pump back this warmer air to the north but it's just been beaten back by the colder air so it to pump the warm air north but it's beaten back by the cold air coming in from the north and it just can't get in and the, the ensemble keeps us cool really as well right the way to the end of the period when eventually it sees these milder southwesterly winds breaking back in but that's what I, I think so it's going to be the 20th of March before we really see any warm up once this cold air sets in again next weekend but before that this week looks as if temperatures actually are going to pick up quite nicely in terms of rainfall these are the totals that we're likely to see this is from the ensemble once again and uh, this is day one to five so this ends on uh, at midnight on the 8th which is all oh, Wednesday 8th of March uh, that is uh, Friday 
and you can see generally five to ten uh, millimeters 15 across uh, central southern parts of Scotland here so uh, some rain to come during the week but it will be more towards the um, middle to the end of the week day six to ten so taking us through to the 13th so that would be uh, when that's week on Wednesday um, again we're looking at totals of 10 to 15 but look it's this eastern part of Scotland that could see more there we could be getting 15 to 20 mil of rain and also Western Ireland as well picking up a little bit more too and then finally in the final part of the period rainfall totals come down again a little bit as those east to north easterly set in and we start to see the winds eventually then go around to the south and things starting to settle off once again so it's not a drastically wet period we're looking at um, sort of between I suppose we could be picking up 15 to 20 millimeters uh, for many parts of the country over the next uh, 15 days it, it's this area in here it's kind of there that I think we could be seeing a little bit more but generally if you work on uh, 15 to 20 mil perhaps a little bit more then that's probably where we're going to be so uh, thanks again for watching remember we kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen by you coming back and using the size that's what keeps us free of charge so thank you for doing that okay i'm off to uh, to host a weather school have a great day and keep the sun shining bye for now